Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our channel. I'm Eric. This is Tilted K Homestead. And if you saw our last video, I just drove down here over the last two days and arrived yesterday. I got our trailer and the truck emptied into our storage unit. I spent the first night on the property last night. So let's take a look around, see the setup, and uh, I'll show you around uh, our homestead. Right here you can see I've got uh, my tent set up. I got my Jackery, it's recharging. And my little cook station, my sitting area. I got some plastic there because it was dewy last night. And uh, we have our campfire here. Over there by the truck, I'll take you over there. I got my cleanup and wash station. Let's go check that out. We have water. I had them turn the water on. So I have my hose over here. And what I was doing is just taking the hose up through there like that so I could take a shower last night. Brush my teeth this morning. So I was going to take a shower this morning. But, I was pretty filthy and sweaty yesterday, so I just decided to take a shower last night when it got real dark, um, and I'm glad I did. And then I'm going to unhook, I'm going to unhook from the trailer, and when I come back from doing my running around today, I'm going to park the truck right here, so there's a little barrier from the road, which is out there, and that way... And that way, when I take a shower tonight, I'll be all blocked in. Let's go back here and check out the bathroom. So, I got my ground blind up right over here. You can see my ground blind. And if any of you are carpenters or construction workers, you pretty much know the setup in there. Uh, just go back and look at any of the videos where we were here before. Uh, it'll show the setup I got in there. And then over here, these are foundation pylons for the house. Just beyond that is our septic system. So, right here... You can see that's where my septic will go in. That's my clean out. And it looks like they got some heavy rain. And uh, because this was all dug out, it sunk down in. So I'm going to have to backfill this all in. And then over here, the power company came and put power in. The Jackery wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do the, uh, the coffee pot because it's a heating element. So I brought a table over, plugged it in. We have power. I'm going to go back by the storage unit and get an extension cord and I'll run power out to the cook station later. So out here, past the telephone pole, you can kind of see it. There's two lines right there. That's where our leach field is going right up through there. And our junction box is right down here. And the septic system's there, and the house is going to sit there, so that you guys have a perspective. So, this whole area back here will be our pasture that we're going to run our chicken and rabbit tractors through, all back through here, going along. Let's take a walk back there, and I'll show you what I got going on back there. Lots of deer prints coming through, guys. Some old coyote prints coming through, too. I'll tell you, last night, I heard them like three different times. So, here is my tent. There's the road out there. And then behind me here is the tree line. Now, my property goes back about another... 300 and 350 feet uh, through the woods and then there's cattle pasture on the other side of that so I heard 
the coyotes back probably in the pasture over that way and then over this way twice last night but I think the people who have the cows uh, have a livestock guardian dog I know what coyotes sound like and uh, I could hear them yipping and howling and making a lot of noise but I also heard domestic dog barking so I have a feeling there was a livestock guardian dog back there maybe watching out for the cattle because I heard the cattle over in this direction in the pasture back there last night before I went to bed look at the size of those hoof prints so there's plenty of deer moving through here look at them all they're everywhere guys so back here this is our pasture area we've got a stack of logs we've got another stack of logs on top of debris I gotta move these stumps and then this is a pretty big uh, stack of logs right here and just to give you perspective there's the house telephone pole my camp and the roads out that way so this should be a pretty good sized pasture area once we get it all seeded and that's one of the things I'm gonna try and get done today and uh, to run chicken tractors up and down through but we have plans to run them through the other part of the property too and we'll tell you about that on a on a later video all right guys take a look at this I might need your help if you look in here right in here got it there we've got it here and we've got it over here tell me guys Is that wild elderberry? Do we have elderberry on our property? That would be amazing. I'm going to do some investigation, but let me know down in the comments if you think that this is elderberry. Here's another interesting find. Is that comfrey? You guys think that's comfrey? I'm not sure what that is. Here's some more of that elderberry if that's what it is and take a look at this one <clears throat> they're actually coming up all over the place over here so if that's elderberry that's going to be fantastic for us all right guys we're up by the front of the property here's another big section of logs here and then i have another big section of logs right over here behind this wood pile on the other side of this wood pile right in here this is where I'm going to put my sawmill all right so I'm up at the entryway to our driveway there's a frost free there as well and you can see that I am on our power line so People will come in, our driveway goes like this, it goes along the tree line. People will be able to park right in here. Missy's farm stand will be right there. Greenhouse, um, little display area. And then my sawmill will go here and I will stack timber over here or move it down to the house. All right guys, this is looking into our property. So here we are on the road. You can see there's a flag up there. That's the boundary marker. And our road. And then our property goes all the way down there. Probably, I don't know, another three, 300 feet, maybe more. So out here, out here we're going to plant a nice ground cover. And it's, we want to plant something that's a fodder. 
on both sides. And what we want to do is put something that's going to make a good barter uh, for our rabbits and our chickens and for when we have pigs that we can come out here and cut down periodically and rake up and harvest and feed to our animals. All right, guys, so that's the plans so far. We will be living here on our property in less than six months, like five months in a week. But I can't sit around and wait for that. I got a lot to do today. So <clears throat> I'm going to get ready and hit the road. I've got to go do one more uh, pass with my soil amendments and fertilizers in this area and then I'm also going to reseed more ground cover I've got to go back to the storage unit get the hoses for irrigation get an extension cord I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna hit the road All right, we're going to get this buggy to the property and get our fertilizer spread. Okay, we're all set up. I'm going to set you guys on a time lapse over here on the log so you can watch what I'm doing. All done. That should do it. All fertilized and cover crop. I'm going to take this buggy back and I'm going to get my hoses and get back here and start irrigating. All right, guys, I gotta walk out here. I've had this irrigation tower going for a couple of hours. We'll get out here and I'll show you what we got going. I don't know if you can see it right there. Can you see that? So I started up over here and I'm gonna make one more move so that it gets out here and I'm going to leave it on because my neighbor from across the road who has got a homestead of his own has invited me over to have dinner with his family and I am excited to take the opportunity.
Alrighty, just got done having dinner with my neighbors and their family. They are super duper nice. I had a fantastic conversation with them. They are a really awesome family. And I couldn't ask for better neighbors. I hope that in the future we become very close. So I'm headed back. Look at my sprinkler still going in the same place. That's going to be the greenest part of our yard when we come back. So I got to go move that and get a fire going. Alrighty guys, we've got the broadcaster spraying down the last area for this evening. Got a nice little fire going. Got a nice full belly. Thanks for watching. We hope that you'll uh, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment down below if you have any questions. We'll see you on the next one guys. Take care. Have a good one.